A teenager from Massapequa diagnosed with an aggressive bone tumor is coronary cancer. Doctors say scientific breakthroughs mean they will not have to amputate her leg. Jennifer McLogan reports on the overwhelming support she's receiving in a story you'll only see on CBS News New York. Back in December, I started experiencing uh, constant knee pain. Honors College freshman athlete Kelly Maluli presumed it was from too much cheer team and gym workouts. Yes. Initially, doctors advised physical therapy. Nothing helped. Kelly knew something was not right. It was a very overwhelming time and a very scary time. It was spring break, home to Massapequa from the University of New Haven. She and her family insisted on more testing. New doctors in a new hospital, Cohen Children's, where she got an MRI and devastating news. That same day they found the tumor and from there everything has just been a complete whirlwind. So fast moving with biopsies and doctor's appointments and within that week I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. Because this is a very aggressive tumor we have to move very quickly with chemotherapy um, and treatment. It's very emotional. It's amazing because it's a lot to ask an 18 year old at the time, now she's 19, to have gone through brave and stoic and life altering decisions. As part of her treatment, Kelly underwent future fertility planning in which her eggs were harvested prior to chemotherapy. They immediately had a plan for me and that was very comforting. She had what's called limb sparing surgery, where we take out a piece of the bone and replace it with a prosthesis in order to save her legs. And save her life. The cancerous bone removed and replaced with a metal knee. We want her to be able to live the rest of her life with, without any sarcoma, without any cancer, and to be able to do everything she wants to do. Not that everything will go back to normal, but everything will be a new normal. Filled with optimism as Kelly completes chemotherapy with plans to rejoin her university and cheer team later next year. <laughs> On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS News, New York. And until now, someone with osteosarcoma like Kelly's would have had their leg amputated and still lived with the risk of cancer returning. Kelly and her family say they feel blessed to have this high-tech solution.